<laughs> I think I'm here now. <laughs> Sorry, it's very chaotic today. Um, obviously, we're trying to get ready to go to Newark, and um, we've got the most torrential rain and thunderstorm happening. Got absolutely drenched getting the moving the van and then having to go and pick up all like the shelving and everything got just ridiculously drenched and then I was just like right I've got to run over this run over home to do the one o'clock and I had to blow quickly chuck a hairdryer on my hair because I was literally dripping like off my fringe down my face <laughs> and then I realized I forgot the raffle so we'll do the raffle when I get back to the shop in a bit okay um <clears throat> But yeah, I'm, I'm li my, this top is so wet, it's disgusting. I need to go and put something dry on in a bit. <laughs> oh yeah, you, well, I think you can see the colour of it, the change. It's just, uh, it's wet and horrible. <laughs> so I was going to do the raffle to get us started. Um, but uh, no, because I forgot the raffle card, it's at the shop. So we're just going to do the block and then we'll do the raffle when we get back. Okay, so uh, let me just scroll down so I can see your comments. Hello, my darlings. It's chucking down there too. Yeah, it's not going to be fun packing this van for this show. So hi, Marilyn. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Anne. Hi, Jean. Hi, Claire. Hi, Cheryl. Hello, Nikki. Wow, can you hit King? I don't know if you can hear that thunder. It's it's like proper thunder. It really is. So um, we're going to do, we're going to go back to basics a little bit. Uh, if you need to get tra changed and get dried, we can wait. Oh, it's all right, lovely. I've, um, I've dried my hair. This is a bit wet, but it's not going to be very long, this one, so don't worry. Um, right, let's go over to the overhead. Hopefully we're over here. Everything's working. Don't turn, don't turn my sewing machine off, darling. Come on, buddy. It's all right. <laughs> He's trying to turn the sewing machine off. You can you can play later. You can you can go with, you can sew with Granny later, okay? It's all right. He's just stuffed his dinner. Um, <clears throat> what are we doing? We're doing a courthouse steps. So I think over the next couple of weeks, we're going to go back to some like real basic blocks. Some ones that I don't think, I don't think we've done courthouse steps. Um, it's kind of a variation on, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, log cabin. Um, but it's done with smaller strips. Log cabin tends to be two and a half inch strips or, or they can be done in any size actually. But um, this is done with one and a half inch strips and um, it's called courthouse steps. Oh my god, the thunder's really bad. This is going to be interesting. I'm freezing. I'm okay, actually. I'm warm. The heat, I chucked the heating on quick. <laughs> I chucked the heating on quick. I'm actually quite warm because of all the lifting and carrying. So, yeah. <laughs> um, you can see you've got like this step thing happening. The nice thing about this, it creates really lovely secondary patterns when you put blocks together. So, um i if if it starts freezing it's because of the gem you're gonna have to move darling out you go I, i'm gonna need to get there she doesn't like the thunder um well, that's what i'm saying when we put this together it makes beautiful secondary patterns um but it's a very easy one to do but and it's all really about color placement this really really is about color placement so i'm going to go through with you what you need okay so you're gonna need a center square which i've cut and i've lost there it is Hello, darling. I know you want to play, but Granny's just doing this, okay? I, I play later. Um, and you're going to start with a one and a half inch square for your centre, okay? So we're going to start with that. And I think over the next few weeks, the block of the weeks, we're going to go and we're going to touch on some really sort of like traditional old blocks, but how you can make them more modern and how you can make them interesting. I think that's what we're going to do. Out of your background fabric, you need two one and a half inch squares everything you need two of everything two three and a halves two five and a half these are all one and a half inch wide by the way okay all one and a half so one half by one and a half three and a half by one and a half five and a half by one and a half two oh i've got hiccups now two seven and a halves and two nine and a halves okay oh yeah there's the lightning as well i think we're going to be packing the van at like midnight once all this stops <laughs> And then I'm actually using some old um, honey bun strips. This is brilliant if you've got a honey bun lying around. Um, but you could cut this out of scraps. You could cut this out of what yardage, no, no problem. What's he doing? He saw I had food, so he took his cheese out of his mouth. No, Jonah, behave. Be good boy. You need, again, so these are one and a half. So you need two different colours. No, so you need a three and a half in both colours. You need five and a half in both colours. 
You need seven and a half in both colours. You need nine and a half in both colours, and then you need eleven and a half in both colours. And this makes an eleven. It keeps freezing. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I don't know. If, I think it might be we've got a thunderstorm happening. So I think it's the the Wi-Fi is being affected by the weather. Sorry, guys. Um, can you still hear me? Is it just the picture that's freezing? Um, yeah, it's freezing lots. I think it's the I think it's the weather, guys, because we've got a horrendous thunderstorm happening. So sorry if it is freezing. Um, so yeah, you're going to do it in two colours: a background and then your centre square. All right. We're going to start really, really simply. We're going to start with the centre square, and we've got the two little background one and a halves. All right, and we're going to put those either side of this one. Okay. The sound is good, yeah, sorry lovely, it is the weather, it does af does affect the Wi-Fi terribly around here when there's a thunderstorm, um, so yeah, sorry, I can't, I can't fix that, oh, and there comes the lightning, <laughs> really was, there goes the lightning, wowzers, that was a bigger, big flash, so, oh, sorry, wrong foot on, let's just get rid of that one, so this, this might work, this video today, it might not, we've got a hell of a storm going on, um, Right, so first thing we're going to do is we're just going to put these blocks either side, okay? Jonah. Jonah, darling, you can't sit on Granny's Jonah. lap and sew at the moment. I know you like to press the buttons, but you Jonah can't, Benjamin. love. He's all right. He's okay. He's not touching anything. He's fine now. Sorry, he's woken up for his nap. He's had his lunch and he's like proper into everything now because he's got energy. So we're going to sit down quarter of an inch both sides of this one. And with this block, you're always going to work on opposite sides, Okay. There we go. I know you like to press the buttons, don't you, darling? Yes, I know you do. <laughs> and then I'm just going to finger press that out. I'm going to put the other one and a half the other side of the centre. There we go. Like that. It's a nice, easy start. Oh, yeah. We're, it's flash after flash. The dog is like trembling underneath me at the moment. Right. So you're right over there. Yeah. No, she hates it, doesn't she? <laughs> right, okay, let's go back over here. All right, so we've just done that at the moment. So I'm just going to very quickly press that. And I would always press it outwards. No, uh, uh, don't you touch, you little monkey. <laughs> so I would, all, with all of these, always press outwards, away from the piece that you've just done. Okay, I find that works better. What we're going to do now is we're going to start with the two different colours. So we're going to put one on one side. So that's my three and a half, that side, and my other one, the other side. So it's incredibly easy to do this one. It's a really simple one to build up. And actually, if you cut lots of strips, you can chain piece all of this bit and then all of this bit, and then you can make lots of blocks quickly. So we're gonna put this one always on the right, and then the other one always on the left. So back over we go. So have you all got thunder and lightning over by you guys? It's, um, yeah, it's a little bit crazy here. <laughs> I'm really, really not looking forward to, uh... oh God, Tom's going to get drenched coming home from school as well. Ugh. I hope it, he's got about an hour and a half before he's uh, going to be walking home. I'm hoping it's going to be gone by then. Here we go. Now, I don't tend to iron them out each time just because I'm a bit lazy. I'm just going to finger press that out to start with and then add on this one and then I'll iron it once I've done the round as such. I have to excuse the plaster, I took out my thumb off a minute ago, moving stuff around in the van. Caught it between the door and uh, the thing I was moving. And uh, took out the skin off, it's gross. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's a hell of a thunderstorm going on, isn't it? It's still dry up by Eugene. Oh, I wish it was dry here. So, there we go. So, I'll just come back over here, guys. So there we go, we've got that far so far okay oh my good oh now it's hailing oh we're having all the weather obviously today we're gonna have all the weather <laughs> so we've had thunder and lightning and now it's the most crazy hailstorm oh yay this is gonna be a fun day <laughs> we're gonna go back to so our next bits are the top and bottom again so we're going back to the, the background color so these are the three and a half so we're gonna put that on there and that on there and then we will add on to the right, make sure you always put them next to each other. 
like that. Okay, so that will be round two. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Melba. Hello, my darlings. Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh... <laughs> now, this is actually also a really good test of whether your quarter inch is right, which we know it's not on my, my machine. So it's not quite fitting, but I'm just going to go with it. So you can square up to three and a half after each one of these if you want, and then five and a half, etc., etc. as you go. But I'm going to wing it a little bit. So I'm going to put that one on and that one, and then we're going to put the two sides on. So I wonder if you'll have snow next. I'd quite like the sun next. If I'm going to have all the weathers, Natalie, uh, we've, had, we've had torrential rain. We've had a thunder and lightning storm. Now we've got hail. Um, let's go sunshine. Let's go sunshine. That would be nice now. <laughs> Hmm. There we go. I remember it's going opposite, so I'm coming over here because it's always opposite sides with each piece. There we go. Is he eating your dinner now, is he? No, he's all this. Ah. <laughs> down that side. Four seasons in one day. It really is, Jean. It really is. Right, I'm just going to just... I'm not going to flip cameras. I'm just going to press that out. Quickly. Whoa, Jonah Benjamin! So all the bricks have gone everywhere. So I've got that. And now I'm going to put these ones on, but I'm going to make sure they're the right sides, okay? So match up your fabrics. Oh my goodness. That's just unbelievable. I've genuinely not seen a storm like that for a very, very long time. It's horrendous. <laughs> oh, I might just... I might just say to say we're not packing the van. <laughs> Sod it. <laughs> Let's just, I'm not, I'm not going to, well, we are going to Newark. Even if we have to pack it in the morning, we will. But yeah, that's just, that is unbelievable. I've never seen weather like it. It's literally the hails making the um, patio doors rattle. It's that bad. So yeah, I'm sorry if the picture is affected, but it will affect it, I'm afraid. Here we go. Okay. Right, back over here. Uh, yeah, the storm's just arrived there. Yeah, it's horrendous. All the seasons in one day, Scottish weather. Yeah, well, I wish I was in Scotland, huh? <laughs> right, so I'm just going to press that one out. I'm going to give it press, and then I'm going to square it up, okay, a little bit. There we go. So press that out. Does he want a piece of toast or a crumpet or something? So he's just had risotto for lunch. You'd swap the wind that we have. I think someone's at your front door and there's no one there. It's moving your letterbox. Oh, bless you. <laughs> right, so I want five and a half by five and a half. So I'm just going to make sure that that fits in and just trim down where the sewing's just a weeny bit out. Okay, it's only a tiny bit, but it will help keep all your blocks square. What, darling? What's the matter? What's the matter, baby? <gasps> if you ask Uncle Josh, she nicely, you'll find your piece of chocolate orange. I'll keep him quiet for two minutes. And then we move on. So like I said, it's a really easy block. Is there any way you can reverse the van straight right up to the door? We can get it, no, because we've got barriers, because we've got a ramp, you know where that red ramp is, Jean. Um, that ramp gets in the way, so we can get it reversed so that we've only got like about that much. You know, like from here to the wall away to walk, but we're still going to get wet in this. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to pop those on. And then my next one, which should be a seven and a half, is going to go on down the sides like that and make the next round. So you can see it, it builds really quickly. So I'm going to do this one all in one go to save, keep swapping cameras. It's got a priority stream. What's that? Biscuit over chocolate. He had a biscuit over chocolate? Mm -hmm. Good grief. How's the total during your fundraiser? Oh, it got to 660 last time I looked, but we've kept it open until Sunday, just in case anybody you know, watched late or watched any other, um, you know, and decided they want to. But yeah, it was, I think it was at 660 quid, which is amazing. We're so chuffed with that. So, hi, Carol. How are you, lovely? We're all complaining about the weather. We've got a horrendous thunder and lightning storm, and now it's hailing here as well. It's unbelievably horrible here today and we've got to pack the van so we're all having a moan <laughs> oh, see no. this is definitely a bit wet as well Ugh. here we go right i'm not going to flip cameras guys i'm just gonna iron that out quickly and put the next set on 
and you can see it's I would sit and do all my cutting I'd cut out all my strips and then you could just chain piece away it makes it it's a really really traditional block this I mean it's been around for years and years and years but I like it because it's such a quick one you know I don't do a lot of repetitive blocks um ah thanks Leslie <laughs> Uh, Karen, you're watching my sew sewing summer outfits. Oh, don't rub it in, missus. Don't rub it in. It's with, it's horrendous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've got a hailstorm and thunder and lightning. It's horrible. Um, Rain here went on the Stitching Queen website. Some beautiful embroidery. Oh, that's um, Marilyn da Marilyn's daughter, isn't it? Lynn's daughter. Yeah, she's. Um, I did have a little nose on her Instagram. Really cool. <laughs> Right, I'm just going to press that one out quickly and then we're going to put the next one on. So I'm not, like I said, I'm not, I will just quickly show you actually. There we go. So that's the next round done. So we've got another two rounds to do. So now we're on seven and a half on the background fabric like that. But it'll be nine and a half. Oh, that's the eleven and a half. Where's the nine and a half? Ooh. Oh, no, that's right. Nine and a half. And nine and a half that side okay like that so we're going to put those on and then we've got one round to go and then i can sh put the two blocks together and show you um show you what they look like because it does come together really nicely you get these beautiful like diamond patterns happening um courthouse steps can look really nice as well if you alternate these you know like scrappy so if each one of these were different i mean i'm keeping them all to the same because i can get one block out of one honey bun strip you know, that's one honey bun, stri honey bun strip used, and that is, so it works quite well. But it, this block is brilliant for um, uh, scraps as well. Just cut as many one and a halves as you can and have each one of these different. It looks lovely. It's really, really good. So, there we go. So, whip down that. And flip it around and do the other side pretty fabric what is this it's um oh it's a it's called sanctuary um and it's a really old honey bun that i had i've got a few strips left of it i've probably got enough to make four blocks i haven't got much of it left um but i pulled it out last night i was like oh well i can at least make a really pretty cushion cover for it um <clears throat> it's a three sisters range it looks very similar to promenade it's very similar to promenade which i think there's some of the clearance I'm added to my UFO pile. I am, aren't I? <laughs> There's me trying to be good, Claire, and use up scraps and little bits, but I'm just making more, making more projects for myself. Hello, darling. What have I got? Oh, thank Oh, not bubbles, darling. Granny's busy. Joshy will do bubbles with you. Joshy will do the bubbles. Bless him. He's just presented me with a, a thing of bubbles as if to say, please do these. <laughs> He's still not talking. But he started like prop he like has a, a gibberish com conversation with you now, which is really funny. Because it's uh he knows what he's saying and he's like that your proper baby gibberish. These babies need two. But yeah, he won't speak. He's a bugger. Uh oh. You doing the bubbles or are they a bit rubbish? Have they gone? No gone. Oh, darling, it's not working. Can we get a couple? There we go. Okay, nearly there. We're going to do the last round and then I can show you. Yeah, Sam and I were actually saying about the UFOs. We've still got still got so many to do. We might actually do it again at some point. Maybe not a 12-hour charity marathon, but maybe just do a 12, you know, like set a Sunday aside and... Um, here we go. Over here again now. So set a Sunday aside and just crack through as many as we can because it was actually, we cleared a lot more than I thought we were going to. I think I was a bit over ambitious with the amount of projects I put in the box. Here we go, nearly there. So last round, it'd be nine and a halfs on the top and bottom, and then you need 11 and a halfs on the side. Okay. So what are you touching there, Mr. Blister? Give me <laughs> He's up. into everything. Give me He's got his fingers in every little bit, trying to get into stuff. So. Last round, and then I can show you what, how they sort of go together then. Um, you don't have to stop at 11 and a half. I stopped at 11 and a half because that's what I could get out of the honey bun strips. But if you're using yardage or scraps, 
You could keep going. You could make bigger blocks if you wanted to. Just reline that up. There we go. Other side. Um, you've got a couple of charm packs. packs. What blocks could you make with them? I keep looking at them and put them back. Um, right, so what uh, patterns? So I really like the... Um, we've got a couple of patterns on our website. The, the double herringbone, which is a really simple one, but a lovely block. Yeah. Um, there is uh, tumbled leaves. That's a really nice one. Uh, Diamond delight yeah, is yeah, a really yeah, nice yeah. one. Oh, if you've got two the same, the tartan charm block uses a quilt uses two charm back packs um so that would that would work nicely um what else have we done recently that um uses charm packs oh my brain's gone dead oh the any which way um pattern that uses charm packs yeah so oh the carry bag yes the carry bag yeah you could sew it as quilt as you go karen yeah you could do these blocks as quilt as you go um, which would again be quicker, you know, not necessarily quicker, but I'd maybe put four of them together and do that bit and then do that as a quilt as you go, so it's slightly bigger than the 11 and a half. I might make four, because it's still a good size handle. There we go, add that one on. You can't sit. So he loves to sit on my lap when I'm sewing. Yeah. And I let him press the button, so he, I let him press the, you know, the the thread cutter and a and the knee, the foot down button. And he sits as good as gold and just watches me on my knee, watches me sew, and then presses the buttons. And he keeps coming over and trying to press the buttons. I'm like, oh, God damn it! <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> um, yeah, the any which way is a nice one. I quite like that block. It looks really good. Um, what else could you do with five inches? Oh, God, we've got loads of charm pack patterns. Um, my brain's gone blank, though. Uh, yeah, Diamond Delight's a nice one. I'm taking that onto a chander next week, actually. So, there we go. Right, that's the block now finished. That should now measure 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So, we've got two, okay, like that. So, you can put them together like this, colour to colour. And you get these lovely, and it's all when when you've got like a lot of them, they actually almost look a little bit curved, which is really nice. Or you can put them together like that, okay? Alternate them, and again you get different things happening. So I, I haven't got another two to put them together, but when you put the ones here, it's almost like um, you always get like a pinwheely thing happening. Um, if not, they almost as well. I think a bit, look a little bit like Chinese lanterns. You know, like Chinese lantern, you know, those hanging ones that you see on New Year and stuff. You know, that looks quite pretty as well. If I was going to quilt you go it, Karen, I think what I would do is I'd probably put four together like that. And then that's a nice, easy piece to handle into your machine. And then, you know, do another four, quilt them, and then join those big four ones. Um, <coughs> you bought a book and then realised all the measurements were for... The narrow fabric, not two and a half. Is it better to use narrow strips than two and a half? Um, <coughs> oh, what for? Um, for Corti steps, Lynn. You can absolutely do this with two and a half if you want to. I just prefer one and a half for this pattern. It's just it's personal preference. That's all. If you use two and a half, you just get much bigger blocks, um, or you don't do as many rounds. But I really like the the one and a half for this. Um, the, sorry, the which book did you buy, Lynn? Um, sorry, lovely. Uh, but then realise all the measurements were for the narrow fabric. Yeah, so the one and a half inch rolls are called honey buns. We don't do them very often because we don't necessarily we can't get them very often. But you can get them all over the internet. Honey buns, they're called, and they're all for one and a half inch strips. I think some patterns look really look better in the one and a half than two and a half. But it's personal. It really is just personal preference, hun. Um, is that right? Ollie's a bit like that. He's mastered some single words and likes to point. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, he's, it, there's a lot of pointing. And he does use a, quite a bit of sign language as well. Um, Cara taught him, has been teaching him sign language. And we get a lot of more. This one's more when he wants something else, more. But he does please and stuff. But, I mean, he understands loads. We read books and do, like, I spy and stuff. Understands loads. Just can't be bothered to talk. 
<laughs> you sent for it online, not with me right now, packed away. Oh, fair enough. Um, yeah, have a little look for honey buns. Um, there are lots of patterns out there. We've got one. Oh, let me just come over here a second. Hiya. We've got one called um, the Agape, which is the Greek key block. That's done with a honey bun as well. One that I wrote. Um, but yeah, I think some blocks just look a little I don't know, more stylish in certain strips. You were going to do a log cabin, but like the look of this. Yes, absolutely, it, Lynn. So a log cabin is you doing the same method. Let me come back over here a second. Um, a log cabin, you would keep your background here. So all of this would be gray and this would be colored. So rather than doing opposites, you work round the center square. So you go like gray, gray, color, color, gray, gray, color, color, gray, gray, color, color, or whatever your background color is. Um, Quarter house steps, you always work opposites. And it's, it is a really lovely block. It's one of my faves. It grows quickly. It's very simple if you're a newbie as well. So yeah, have a little go at this one, Lynn. This would be a nice one for you to start with. Um, just, I would every now and then, I would square up, just make sure that you're like, right, okay, this needs to be five and a half, this needs to be nine and a half, and just trim off any little tiny bits because otherwise they can go a bit wonky. So, so right, that's it for today, my darlings. Um, come back over here. Um, we will do the raffle today. We'll pull it at some point um, over at the shop, okay? We'll come back on live and do the raffle. Um, but <laughs> I don't want to go back out there. I'm going to have my hair, haircut now. I'm not. I'm going to tell not to, just to do a dry cut. There's no more. Well, it's not even dry anymore. There's no point having it blow dried. <laughs> um, we won't see you tomorrow, obviously, because we're travelling and then setting up the stand. But I will do lives on Friday and Saturday around the show and show you some of the stuff that's happening. Okay. And then we'll have um, Tuesday, Thursday next week, not Wednesday, because we'll have, I'll be on Craft Extra. So, um, so yeah. Hopefully you all stay dry and warm. I am going to go and change this top because I am getting cold. I can feel it. Um, and I will see you all on Friday. I'll do a live from the Newark show. If you are in the area, come and say hello. And I'm really sorry about the noise, but he's playing with his push-along car. So I'm going to go. Bye. <laughs>